I finally met Mr. Wright. We met at boot camp at a time of war. We had so much in common, and yet we were complete opposites. It was almost as though we were made for each other. Both of us were polished, straight-laced, unsoiled by our walks of life. And I knew when I first saw him that we made the perfect pair. From the moment we set foot at camp until the day we were deployed for war, we were inseparable. Once we made the battlefield, we hit the ground running. Danger was afoot at every turn, but my dearest was never more than a few steps away. The intense heat of the desert sand melted our souls, the dry air baked our skin until it cracked, and all around us were explosions, bodies ripped to shreds by the spray of gunfire, and the dying cries of soldiers and enemies alike. But he was there, standing faithfully on my right, and I knew as long as we could stay together, we would be okay. But bravery and foolishness are too close of kin, and in a quick instance, in a small misstep, fucking gunfire kicked up earth, filling my eyes, and I was sent head over heels into the air. When the air cleared, I was on the ground covered in blood. I looked to my right and realized I was alone. The pain of my injuries did nothing to dampen the deep planet despair. I no longer had a purpose on this earth. My other half was gone forever. Sometimes, I could still feel him, like a ghost standing by my side, but I would look to my right and see nothing. For months I laid around, useless and forgotten, as bones knitted and flesh fused. Finally, one day, I was pronounced healed and ready to go home. Physically healed, yes, and polished and cleaned, but this outward appearance could not obscure the loneliness tied within my leathered hide. Shakily, unsure of my footing, I stood up, and to my surprise, I did not fall. I took a tentative step forward and wondered miserably how I could possibly bear the burden alone. But when I looked to my right, there he stood by my side once again.